Well, I don't know. I call it a passion, but my wife calls it a sickness. Got quite a pile of these guys here. I just have a thing for these old axes. Let's spread them out and have a look at them. Well, it's been a long time since I've been able to work on any of this stuff, but you see here I got some, still have some handles in them. Nice double bit. Some really fine axes here. And it's just up to me to bring them back to life. And uh, it's about time I get started again, so. And that's not all of them. <laughs> Got some over here, just a minute. These are some that I have finished up. And a lot of these axes are given to me. Um, I get the head, change out the handle, repro profile some of them, and get them set up, put a new handle in them, and sharpen them up. Put them to use. It's a shame these things just lay around. Got a big old broad axe back there. Look at that baby. It's a good one. I've been hesitant on putting a new handle in it just because it's so cool. It's got wire wrapped around it and everything else, you know. But I may use it someday, so I may get a handle for it. I even have some down here on the floor. There's one brand new handle. That's the only handle I have in the shop. No, I got a hatchet handle right over here. There's all my hatchets. And I got one new handle right there. It's the only one I got. Just a box full of stuff. A lot of hatchets that I fixed. I don't know. Tell me. Sickness or hobby? I don't know. I think it's a sickness, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Well, what I'm doing, uh, I think I'm going to take a couple of these uh, axe heads here and do a vinegar soak. Um, I've never tried that before, but I think I'll give it a go. Well, I must say, uh, I have a new friend on YouTube, and uh, Killerman. Killerman, yeah. Killerman, yes. Anyway, he's into axes, and I think he's getting the sickness also. So, there's just some axes you can't clean up, you know? It's like this one. Man, this thing is in awesome shape. It just has some red paint on it and some yellow paint. The edge is, just needs to be sharpened up and. I don't want to take the history out of that baby right there. I think I'll just do a slight clean on it and put a handle in it, sharpen it. It's just got too many stories to tell. Pass those on. This is another good one. Look at that. How many years is that laid around? Some axes that I don't even, I've never even seen before. Look at how heavy that thing is. There's a little zenith double bit. Look at that. Just laid around, broke off, and somebody threw it in the woodshed. This is awesome right here. I've showed this one before, but this one's going to be beautiful when I get done. Bear with me, guys. I will get through this. My axe mentor passed away on me. Poor old bud. He showed me a lot about this stuff and poor guy passed away in surgery I'll miss that guy but he shared some things with me showed me how to hang an axe and get this stuff done so time to get back to work the axe is back well I did forget to show this um, this is something I picked up recently it's a big old cedar fro. At least that what's that's what we call them here for cedar. I guess you can use them for oak and 
It's a shake fro, that's what it is. Split and shakes. But uh, it's a big one. I don't know. I haven't measured it yet, so let's get a tape just a minute. Well, it looks like the, the working end of it measures about 18 inches here. The handle, it's got to be at least 20, 30 inches. Wow. It's for some splitting some big stuff. But, man, it's in awesome shape. Need to clean it up, put it back in service good find paid nothing for it nobody knows what it is chiching it's got a little river made tub there that seen better days and a couple of things of vinegar I don't know if I'll be able to cover it with this maybe Oh, just barely. Right on. Well, let's let that set overnight and see what that looks like tomorrow. Well, there was enough room, so put a few of those in there and we'll check them out in the morning. Over and out. Well, here we are back in the shop this morning. I don't know, it looks like it's doing its thing. It's bubbling away in there. I don't know if you can see that, but... Some bubble action going. Looks like it's cleaning it up pretty good. Well, let's pull them out of there and see what they look like. Taking a lot of that scale off. I'm thinking that worked pretty good. Yeah, I'm kind of liking what that did. Rinse that off, clean it up. Nice. Let's see what this double bit looks like. Oh yeah, it's been working it over really nice. Oh yeah. Looking pretty nice. Let's get that over to the sink and rinse it off and clean it up. See what we got. Pretty impressed. Good little tip. Thank you. There they are. I've uh, taken them over to the shop sink here and cleaned them off. And And I put a little WD-40 on them just to keep them from rusting out while I work on them. I'm pretty pleased with that. I mean, it, it's just a matte, dull finish on them, you know, but gives you a place to start from there. I'm real pleased with that. The other two are still soaking. They still had a little bit to go. As you can see, I got some work to do on this one. Somebody's really pounded on it, so I'll take a file and straighten all that back out and rehang it and bring it back to life. Like these old hatchets. Good stuff. You know, a lot of these old tools go unappreciated. Um, People used to use them, work with them, and uh, so when they're beat up from heavy use that way, I understand it, but modern days when we're just out hobby cutting and playing around, people beating on things because they don't know how to chop wood or split a stick of wood, you know, that irritates me. And, Tearing up the handles in them because they don't know how to split around. Anyway. So, 
I like to find these things and bring them back to life. Appreciate them. And I think you guys do too. Well, got to pick up some handles and keep moving forward and make some good tools here. Thanks for watching. Okay, well I got back to the shop a couple hours ago and this is what I've got done so far. I'm very pleased with the vinegar bath. It's cleaning these things up awesome. A little bit of red paint, you know, I can get that off. I'm going to show you. This is the one that I just uh, worked on. It was all mushroomed over. And I thought maybe I could fix it and file it out straight. But you know what? You just can't stretch that steel. <laughs> it should look like this, you know? So I filed and filed and filed and just couldn't get it done. So I put it on the belt sander and just rounded it over and it's the best I could do but that's the original handle that came in it and uh, I just rehung it sanded it um, put some lid seed oil on it anyway this project's moving along and more to do I've got three more over in the vinegar bath right now so I might break this up uh, into a couple of parts because I don't want this video to be too long so but there is something I want to show you just hang on I haven't shown you this yet well I've been hesitant on showing you in my shot because it's a big mess but we do have quads bikes here's the canopy for my truck Ooh, bought a new TV <laughs> anyway this is what I want to look at right here I bought this set of grapples. Isn't that awesome? Actually, I didn't buy it. I did some work for a guy, and he gave me that and that big broad axe that I showed you earlier. And, uh, you know, this stuff didn't cost me $20. Look at that. This is going to be a project. I just have it hanging on the wall right now, because, but. The grapples are in awesome shape. I just want to take the handle out of it, sand it down, and just do a big old linseed oil thing on it. Anyway, this is my junk. There's my bushcraft shelf. It's all on the floor and over there. There's my bench. That's where I've been working. Look at me, got a bunch of junk. I'll show you the other half of my shop, but that's where my business is. That's where my vans are and my trucks. And it's got my phone number and my business all over it. And you could call me, but I probably can't drive clear to your house. So anyway, here it is. This is where I work. Oh yeah, I do shoot some deer and stuff. One fell down. Anyway. Keep on bushcrafting. I'll show you an update. I'm going to build my dad an axe out of this bunch. He needs a double bit, I think. Thanks everybody.